Welcome back, everybody. As you saw in the last episode, we got that transom installed in the boat. And now in today's video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to build these two wood plates that hold the U-bolts that go next to the transom. And then we're going to fiberglass all over all of that and the transom itself, getting it tabbed into the hole. So that way it'll be good to go. So don't go anywhere. Let's get right into it. So we'll put that plate in. Add in another layer of peanut butter in between to fill in the valley so that way we get it nice and flat across. Then I'll go back through and do the 1708 layer, probably all the way across both of them. So I'm gonna go get these two things cut out. Alright, so I got the pieces cut out here, and you can see I ended up adding a little bit of a beveled edge here at the sides actually sanded down already so you can see sort of what that looks like I still need to sand this one and how I cut it like that was I just used my miter saw or arm saw and I put it at a uh, almost a 45 degree angle so I'm gonna finish sanding this one and then I'm gonna put a coat of resin over both of these so they'll be waterproofed and I'll let that set, and then I'm going to put them in the boat. Alright, let's get this resin going. So the resin finished drying on these pieces and we went ahead and I put them lined up where I was going to have them. And then I drilled the holes through, or more accurately, Adam drilled the holes like you do. Good God, Jiminy Christmas. So now all that's left to do is mix up some... Uh, peanut butter and then lather it up on the wall there, lather it on the back of these and then just put them into place and then we're going to use the same uh, all thread rods with the wood pieces to help clamp it down to get good clamping pressure on it. So that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> Thank you. 
we finished getting those set up in there with the peanut butter. They're drying now. We got them clamped down. Whew, let me tell you, it was a little bit of a rush there trying to get it in in time before the peanut butter started getting hard, but we barely got it in time. I don't think I could have done it without my helper, Adam. So a huge thank you to him for coming out and helping me once again. So I'm pretty impressed, you know, turned out well. Um, it is already nighttime today though, so I don't think I'm gonna get a layer of the 1708 mat, which is this one right here on tonight. So that's what I'll try and do tomorrow with that. All right, we let these pieces finish drying overnight. So now we are good to go to start fiberglassing them in. But first, before I do that, I am gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do a light sanding over them and the areas just so we have a smooth surface so the fiberglass mat will lay down nice and easy. I am gonna be using the 1708 fiberglass mat for waterproofing these and glassing them in. So let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, I got my 1708 fiber mat rolled out here. I've got some markings on the square I'm going to cut out for that first side plate. I'm going to see how big 10 inches by 12 inches is. Alright, got my piece cut out here. Let me tell you, this 1708, it's a bit heftier than the chop strand mat. And honestly, it's a lot less messier to work with. There aren't fibers falling off all over the place. I think that's a pretty good size there. So, I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see how well the resin penetrates through this. I mean, it feels kind of thick. We'll see how it does. But so far, I like the way it handles a lot better than the chop strand mat. Alrighty, here goes nothing. wasn't too bad at all. The one thing I will say though is that I definitely mixed up too much resin. I did not need half of a cup. Probably only a fourth of a cup would have been just fine. The excess I had I just tried slathering around the rest of the transom. Overall that 1708 laid down really well. There's a little bit in the corners where it kind of kinks up and there might be a tiny air bubble but for the most part that got completely saturated so now the next piece I want to do while that is drying is go ahead and do the one for that side as well all right I went ahead and just skipped over filming this part since it's literally exactly the same as the previous one you just watched what I will say on this one down there at the bottom corner, I think I did get a bit, <coughs> excuse me, of an air bubble in there, but I tried as hard as I could, and that's just what it's going to be. So now I'm going to go ahead and let these guys finish drying before we move on to the next part. All right, we let those two pieces dry up now, so... I also went ahead and sanded them down a little bit, make them kind of smooth, and also sanded down the transom. You can see where I got the high spots. 
So I think we are ready to put our 1708 on the transom. Now I was thinking about how I was going to do this. Doing it in one piece and one go might be too difficult. In fact, I know it would be. So what I think I'm going to do is do it in three pieces. The first piece on this side and go about halfway over to here. And then a piece in the middle to this side and then another piece on this side. That way, because I know it's going to take time working around all these edges and working all that in as well as that side too and it just take it does take a little bit of time to get the full sheet completely soaked to get it in there and I think if I tried to do that for the entire thing all at once uh, it, it would take me too long to get it going and the resin would probably start gelling up too early even if I under catalyzed it so I'm going to cut out three pieces of the fabric and then we will get to it. Alright, I got the first piece of 1708 cut out right there for the transom. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm probably going to go ahead and get the resin mixed up and glue that one in now. that actually went pretty well you can barely even tell that it's there all of those edges laid down really nicely as you can see so pretty pleased with that even down here at the bottom so now I think I'll go ahead and Cut out the piece to do that side too next. And I gotta say, those two pieces turned out really good. I could not be happier with them. No air bubble. So now, I just gotta do one more piece to cover the middle. Alright, so you can see we got that middle piece cut out and into place here. I did want to point out down at the bottom, I did cut a little bit of an arch of an opening to sort of go around where that drain plug is. That way we want to make sure that's left open so the water can get in there. Other than that, I also cut some slits around where the hole divots in. I'm also going to go ahead and cut out the keyhole area and I'm going to fold the fiberglass in to help try to waterproof the inside of that. And now we are ready to coat it in resin. We finished getting that middle piece put on. Uh, you can see there are a few more light spots, so it's not quite as good as the first two pieces I put on, but hey, you know, they all can't be perfect. But anyways, after that finish is drying, what we're going to do next is sand down all of that, and then even on the back here, 
there's some spots sticking out uh, that I'm gonna sand down and another thing is sort of below the keyhole where there's a bunch of wood rot and rust I'm gonna go ahead and sand that off too and honestly I was amazed at how easy it comes off All right, this is what blew me away here. Just watch, just this little orbital sander. Boom, done. Just like that, it's crazy. Now granted, I did have it speed up, but it really didn't take long at all. So at this point, the transom's actually pretty much done. There's just a few things like drilling the bolt holes in it that I still have to do, but I'm going to go ahead and wait to do that until I'm installing the engine later on. But other than that, it's pretty much ready. I am going to go ahead and install one more layer of fiberglassing on it in this video, but that's really no big deal. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much going to conclude our little three-part transom build and install series I have here. So if you guys are still watching the video at this point, I just got to say thank you. And I really want to thank my 67 subscribers. Oh, we are getting up there. I tell you guys what. If we get to 100 subscribers, I am going to announce a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. But I just really want to say thank you to all of you watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. And if you really enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. And if you want to make it better, you want to let me know how bad I am, leave me a comment down below. And... That's it for today. I will see you guys next time.